Hello guys, and welcome to episode 174 of Cub Fans Minecraft Let's Play. Today we're going to start off with a mob battle out here at the arena. I've already prepared a battle for you guys. So we got, I believe, what is 12? Let's check this out, let's see. I'm, I have invisibility on so they can't see me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 11 zombies and one skeleton, I believe, in there. And we're going to pit them against five iron golems. Um, so, I was looking at the uh, the book here, this book, and it seems like we had, you know, six zombies versus two golems, the zombies won, six, golems, six zombies versus three golems, the zombies won again, pretty big that time. Nine versus seven, the golems won with a lot remaining, and eight, eight and one... Eight zombies, one skeleton versus seven iron golems. The golems won with almost all of them still left. So I'm hoping this will be a little bit more fair. I'm also going to give the zombies a speed boost. Potion. Just like that. There we go. That might get them. I'm also going to give them a strength boost potion here. At least a few of them. So we'll see how that works. Um, so golems are defending champion, as you can see from the, the beacons on the sides. So we're going to start this battle in three, two, one. One. Boom. Alright, so the skeleton will probably hang back unless he already despawned, but here we go. Alright, zombies ganging up on this one golem here. Now they're taking on all of them at once. One guy's checked out in the middle there. Alright. Golems look like they're taking it. There's still some zombies left though. One golem, one golem is down. Three, three zombies left, and I think that's it. Yep, golems win again. Dang. Those golems are strong, I have to say. Oh, there's one that spawned, one, one zombie that spawned over there. He's burning up, though. Come here, zombie. There you go. Okay, we got him. Very nice. So, golems win again, so let's hit that. Oh, did that not work? Oh, this is why. I wonder why. There we go. Fireworks go off. Boom. And boom. Nice. Alright, so let's collect this armor. So we're going to go ahead and collect all that armor up via the carts underneath. You'll see it all start to disappear. And we're going to switch over to here. Change the banner. So the golems have now pulled ahead. Four games to the zombies three games. And yeah, I'm going to do some more testing out here relatively soon just to see if we can get a good balance. This was, I think this was pretty close, more than likely. Let's see if we can take out, yep, that's one hit. That might be one hit as well. Let's see. No, they're still pretty strong. All right. So I might have done maybe four. Might have been more appropriate. There's two hits. And then this guy will go down soon. Yep, there we go. Okay. Oh, and the skeleton didn't even move. <laughs> skeleton didn't even move. Yeah, the skeletons don't really work as well in this arena. It would work better if we were fighting. Um, the skeletons don't work that well because their um, attack range is lower. Quite a bit lower. Let me get some of these other bits here. Toss these on the ground. Let's rearm ourselves. Whoop. Toss that on the ground there. Okay. So we are good now. Let's go ahead and hop on back up. Get back up here. There we go. We'll turn that off. And yeah, so that's the uh, the battle arena there. I'm going to go ahead and kill this <laughs> skeleton. Fell in the water after hitting my, been hit by the flame bow. We should take him out in a few hits, though. There we go. Okay. So, guys, um, hope you enjoyed that battle. And now let's get on back to Zera Zera and start to work on that a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to build here is actually the uh, little chapel with the uh, the graveyard in the back. And it's going to be right here where all three of these roads sort of come together. Um, and let's see, I want the entrance to be, let's see, probably about here or so, about right there. And then it's going to sort of, sort of trail out like this. So it's going to be, it's going to come out like this, and then it'll come out to like its final width, which will probably be like here. And let's say about here or so. Maybe a little further out on this one. About there. And so then there'll be like a big steeple right here in the center. And then it'll sort of trail back into the chapel itself. 
and then we'll have like a little little graveyard area back in this region back here and maybe even hook it up with the beaconator area um, we'll have to see about that so yeah should be pretty good Boom. <laughs> all right so yeah we're gonna build the chapel right here and I want it to be the same sort of color scheme as that uh, watchtower back there so that's uh, yeah it's basically um, red stained or red sandstone and uh, regular sandstone which we have in our inventory here so I'm gonna go ahead and get working on this we'll also use a little bit of wood some light and dark woods for the roof probably so yeah let's go ahead and get working on this and I'll be back once I've made some progress okay so I got sort of the main outline of the church done um, so you can see it's gonna be there's gonna be an entrance right here and you come into it and it sort of opens up a little bit and we'll have windows on the sides um, the walls I'm not quite sure about yet I think this part, like this design here, it looks too pink in terms of like the uh, the hardened stained clay. Even though this is just regular uh, hardened clay, um, but I like. I think I'm gonna go with this this design here, the uh, sandstone and red sandstone design, and we'll put the, uh, the hardened clay at the at the base. I think. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that, and we'll have like you know like like an aisle coming down the center. It'll lead up to sort of like a little build up here, like a little elevated area right here with like the uh, altar like right here or something like that um, and then behind this we'll have uh, an area that goes out to the graveyard and it'll sort of meander around here and connect up with the beaconator um, so yeah I think I'm gonna go with this color scheme instead of the other one and we'll have you know like some highlights on the side here so like we'll have some stairs maybe like this just like that. We'll have stained glass windows in here. Uh, I want, let's see, dark oak, spruce. I want spruce fences. So let's make some of those. Let's, let's put this up out here. I have a lot of crafting tables just randomly. Uh, we have uh, we have that new fence recipe, don't we? I think it's like this, maybe. This might be fence gates. Yeah, that's fence gates. Dang it. Uh, not a fan of the new fence recipe. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So then we'll have like fences on the side here like this. And then also probably in the front like this. Just like that. I think that looks pretty decent. Let me take a look here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty decent. And then oh, walk into a cactus. Uh we'll have like like I said the main steeple right here and then it will sort of go back into just a regular chapel back here. Uh, with sort of like a little rounded shape. Um, so yeah, I like it. Uh, let's continue to build this up and see where we go. Okay guys, so we're just working on the steeple here a little bit. Um, I'm trying to sort of imagine what the roof will end up like and I'm sort of picturing like something like this. Whoop, not like that. <laughs> Hang on. Let's get this. There we go. So something that comes back like this off of this main part so it sort of just transitions back into this. And then we have like logs right here, maybe. So logs that would come down, whoops, like like that, perhaps, at the very top. And then, of course, we'll just build this, this steeple bit up here. So this just goes up like this. And then this, these top two are upside down stairs. So let's see, do we need one more regular block? Yeah. And then a regular stair and then an upside down stair on this next one here. So we just do that, and then upside down stair right there. More solid blocks, and then we need spruce fence right here, and then blocks on the side like that. And we can actually have like a little floor here, and maybe a spiral staircase, or we might just have just like a little floor up here just just to have it. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, anyway, sun is going down, which means it's time to head head down and take a look so let's see yeah that's looking pretty good I like the way it looks so far so yeah I'll keep I'll keep uh, working on this I might change this to spruce wood these stairs here and then leave the uh, the top as the oak just so that it pops out more in the front here but other than that I like it so yeah we'll keep moving okay everyone so putting on part of the roof now there we go and let's keep using some spruce wood 
for this main section right here. So we'll close this off with this sort of a log pattern like this. Just like that. And let's hop on down. I don't have any more pearls. Let's, uh, let's hop on down and see what it looks like down here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's uh, let's get a, a better view. Let's get over across the river here. See what it looks like from a distance. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Obviously, still have to uh, put the roof on on top with the uh, the steeple there. But I think we need to also maybe break it up a little bit. It's a lot of oak wood. Um, so I think I'm going to take some spruce fence and maybe bring it up like this and then across the roof like like that so like that and then up like so like that yeah let's test that out see how that looks so let's just come on up like this over up and over and then we'll connect it up here I think like that we'll do the same thing on the opposite side make sure it lines up and everything obviously there we go, that one, and then just get onto the roof and bring it up like this. Some spruce, there we go, and there we go, okay. Let's see how that looks. Let's get down here. Yeah, I think that looks better. I think that looks better if we put one more in the center here and then maybe one more at the end and then build up the end to make it look nice I think it I think it'll work so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and build it up keep uh, experimenting with different things different patterns and we'll see where we end up okay guys made a little bit more progress here let me show you what we've done um, so obviously we finished the roof here so we got uh, I sort of laid back a little bit on the uh, the fences and instead went with like a highlight of the actual spruce log uh, and then a few fences on top like that. And we did that here in the front and then also uh, close to the back back here. Um, so I think it looks it looks pretty decent from uh, from this vantage point. And then we come around the side here. You see we got most of the steeple done. Uh, this side is also done with the, uh, the spruce wood logs in there. And then if we come to the back, I sort of went with like a sloping theme for the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, yeah, you see how it sort of sort of slopes down the side here and sort of gradually like tails off. I like that a lot. And I also like, you know, like these little fences we put here in the sides. Those look pretty cool. So uh, what we have to do now is we have to actually fill this back part with stained glass. This is going to be like a stained glass window right here. We'll have a door right here. Uh, actually, I kind of kind of want this to be inset slightly so maybe do something like that and then like that yeah I think that looks pretty good so this is what it looks like from the inside um, so you can see obviously the uh, the spruce wood logs running down the whole length of it and you can sort of see the layout I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna put like lighting uh, hidden underneath pistons in the corners right here right uh, right by the the windows here uh, so that's what we're going to do there, and then we're going to have like a, uh, probably a four block, so one, two, three, four block area here that's raised and elevated, and this will be like uh, the main focus of the uh, the chapel or church here. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Also, I replaced this door because I think the, uh, the standard door looks better here. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, so now we need stained glass. We have to finish the steeple. And yeah, we'll continue to work on this. Okay, everyone. So we got the church complete now. Let me show you what we got here. So first of all, we got the little Aya Ender here greeting you as you come in. And then we got like a little crafting table. We got a chest here. This is what the view looks like looking down the uh, the main aisle of the church. Uh, we got some bookshelves here. We got some cobwebs along the ceiling. And then these are the uh, supposed to be like the church pews right here. And uh, on the sides of this, in this far aisle, we have, um, well, first of all, the uh, the hardened clay is actually the main floor. 
But we got pistons here, and underneath these pistons we have some lighting. So we got sea lanterns. And I use the sea lanterns because they're actually cheaper for me than, uh, than glowstone. So we got that. Obviously we got some stained glass window action going on here. Try to use a bunch of different colors of stained glass uh, for, uh, for the windows here. And then we can walk up here to this elevated region. Uh, stand here at the altar here, which is like the uh, enchantment table. Uh, pretty common little altar design there. Got some water over here. We got this uh, daylight sensor over a furnace here. Some seats back here. We got some pretty nice banners as well. Uh, just a cool little banner design that I made. Um, we got some brewing stands and a flower here. And then, of course, the big stained glass window there. This looks really cool when the sky turns like orange and the sun is behind it. Um, yeah, it looks really cool in the evenings. And if we come back here, uh, you'll see I also went ahead and built the graveyard as well. Um, so this is what the church uh, back looks like now. Kind of interesting. Uh, we got, yeah, just a little grassy area here. And there's some graves here, obviously. This actually needs to have a tombstone right there. Perfect. Uh, so we got some cobwebs here. We got some graves here. We got some haunted graves. So we got an armor stand down there. Uh, more graves back here. We got some trees, more cobwebs, uh, di some different grave designs. And the outside of it is also uh, like some somewhat deteriorated, at least on this side. So we got some, yeah, you know, wall that, that fell off or whatever. And then this side's a little bit better, and I actually connected this graveyard here and back the church up with this um, this uh, town town square here. So, yeah, that's, that's the church area. I think it looks pretty good. I like the aesthetics of it. And, uh, yeah, we might add a little bit of functionality later on. But overall, I think it is a... Uh, it's a pretty good build. Looks pretty good. So now I think it's time to move on to the animal market. So for the animal market, I'm going to grab some pods all. Because I think we're going to make the base out of that. Let's see what we got. Pods all. Nice. We'll use some dirt as well. A little bit of grass. We'll need some item frames, of course. Let's see what else. Mushroom for like mud and stuff. So that's what we're going to use for like a little bit of mud. Um, we'll need some fence and some wood, which you don't have a whole lot of here. And I want to also use um, some carpets and some wool for like the, uh, the coverings of the animal stalls. So let's see if we have some wool in here. Yeah, we got, we got some light green, some lime green, some yellow, some light blue. We got quite a bit. So let me get some cobblestone here. I want to sort of mark out where I want this at. So the Beaconator is right there. I might expand this area a little bit further this way. Or no, backwards. Yeah. Backwards a little bit, a little tiny bit. So our sign is actually right here. So I think, I think we should make this animal market probably go from about... Let's see, where's the, where's the road at? The road's there. So we'll set this back a little bit from the road. So we'll say go from here, back to here, and then all the way down to about here. So I think that, I think that would be pretty decent in terms of an animal market. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to make something like that. And we'll make it out of primarily wood and... Uh, pods all for the ground and we're gonna make like stalls that sort of come up in a shape like whoop, like this so it's gonna come up like that and then out like that if that makes any sense so yeah it's gonna be like that with the big overhang and then the animals will be down here tied to fences with leads um, so that's sort of what I'm going to aim for here. And let's go ahead and get building on that right now. Okay, so here's the idea I have for this. So uh, we got the pods all put down. We got sort of the general outline of the area here. And I want to um, sort of do this. So um, we're going to have a little spot where the animals can sort of be herded over. So they can be herded over from this beaconator here. 
uh, herd it over into this area here, at which point they step on some weighter, weighted uh, pressure plates where they can be like quote unquote counted, uh, even though I don't think I'll actually put a counter um, onto this. Uh, however, I do want to have these gates uh, be controlled by this block right here. So we'll have like a lever or a button on that, on here, uh, and that will control um, these fence gates so that we can uh, bring some animals in here if we want to, or uh, maybe hook up a pressure plate here so when villagers are brought in here in the future, they'll be able to open this. So that would be like another dynamic world element. Um, so we'll be able to open those fence gates, and then um, we should also have... Uh, some pressure plates here to sort of verify that count and then from here they'll be herded into some stalls here so I've set up like some stalls I'm not sure I want to be this small I think maybe let's see we'll need one for cows pigs uh, sheep and chicken so we'll need four stalls so maybe have one here right yeah, and this, this is not going to be a shop, so it's not going to be, um, like, selling, um, like, animal meats. It will be, like, uh, selling the animals themselves so they can take them to their homes in the rest of the city is what this is meant to be. So maybe have, like, one here, let's say. So that could be, like, this, this could be, like, a, a pen for one animal, say, like, cows. And then we'll have like a small one for chickens over here, uh, and pigs, and uh, sheep, say the sheep over here, let's say. Um, and then we'll have like a big central area right here uh, that'll be like a little bit muddy. So we'll have like some mushroom blocks down here like this, to sort of simulate like mud. And then we'll also put like uh, some dirt interspersed in here as well to make it look a little better like that and yeah we'll just muddy this whole area up a little bit here like that like that a little bit in like that just place down some dirt wherever put some in there in there and yeah we'll make it look we'll make it look pretty good and uh, also put like a roof over some parts of this so make like a little a uh, little bit of shade for the animals besides just like trees and such. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and continue to build this up and I'll be back once uh, we got some more progress on it. Okay, so we got a pretty good layout now I feel. Um, so we'll have uh, chickens back here in this little area. We'll have um, sheep back here. We'll have pigs through here. And we'll have cows right back here in this area. And the fences are all too high. Uh, just makes it look a little bit better in my opinion and so now we need to go ahead and place down our wool and our carpets because uh, we want to have like a shelter for these animals um, we'll also go ahead and decorate a little bit around the uh, the backs and the sides of the wall uh, just to make it look more like an actual animal market maybe put some signs up with prices and things maybe like a message board somewhere and yeah, we'll make it uh, animal marketish. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do that now, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So uh, we got the animal market complete. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So let me sort of walk you through it. Um, so coming down here, we got some chests. Uh, chests all around here, actually, that we can use to uh, store stuff in. See, I'm doing that a little bit already. And so uh, we're going to have... Yeah, you see I labeled all these chicken uh, will be right here in this one. And we went with like a corresponding appropriate wool on top. So this is like the chickens. It's supposed to be like a chicken eye and chicken beak right there. Uh, we got pig. Pigs are in here. Only got one in there right now, but we got the pink wool on top. Uh, same with the cow over here. And we got some, you know, uh, hay bales in there as well. Uh, more storage here. And I put pressure plates in front of all these so they're easier to, uh, it'll be easier to get anim animals in and out. And as villagers uh, are introduced into this town, they can walk on these pressure plates and then hopefully release the animals and the animals wander back in or, you know, they sort of gather up the animals somehow. 
Um, at least that's the idea of what could potentially happen. So uh, we got this lever here. Uh, actually, I don't think we need this on there. Uh, so this lever here, it controls those three fence gates. So if we hit this, those fence gates open up. That allows the animals to come through here, so you can draw them in here, or uh, eventually I think we'll probably put a pressure plate on top of this so the villagers can control this. But uh, yeah, that controls those fence gates there. Uh, we got shears here, uh, hay bale in there, and then obviously some appropriate, uh, some striped wool here for the sheep, and then we got an appropriate color for the cows there as well. Um, so yeah. I kind of like it. I also extended this a little bit so that it comes out, so that it's more representative of, like, animals, you know, being sold here, and then the villager takes it out to wherever they live. Um, at least that's sort of what I imagine this as being. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. Um, we can obviously get through here if we need to, which is nice, but the animals can't get out. So there's that. Um, we still have the Beaconator here, so we can always use that, too. And I think on the opposite side here, opposite of this um, animal shop, we'll have a butcher shop over here, like in this area. But that's going to have to wait till next time. And, yeah, I like the uh, the church and the animal, the animal uh, market. So, uh, let's go ahead and head back to the base, head down to the mineshaft, and see who today's highlighted channel is. Okay, everyone, today's highlighted channel, as the sun sets due to us not rendering the end of the tunnel because it's so long, um, today's highlighted channel is Philip Klassen. I hope I spelled that right. Anyway, um, Philip left a comment last time asking if we could redo the underground storage area so that it doesn't show, uh, I mean like the, the mass auto storage area. So that it doesn't show dirt and just dirt and stone, basically. So I think we will do that in uh, one of the next few episodes. So thank you, Philip, for the suggestion. This is your mine shaft. Let's see how you do against the other competitors. All right, so it's actually two S's on the name here. So I fixed that, and we finished digging out the mine shaft here. Unfortunately, no diamonds today, but we did get some redstone, which I always like to see because I frequently run out. Alright everyone, so uh, let's take a look here. We got a updated map of Zera Zera. So here's the church we built. This section here is the graveyard right there. And then this is the animal market right there. So that's all the major buildings for the uh, red section complete. So next time we might move on to another section. And also I want to do some small um, ideas that you guys had. So some people suggested we put like a... Uh, a doorbell for the seafood restaurant, um, put a alarm bell at the top of the watchtower, um, put a turret of some type in Zera Zera, and if you guys have any other ideas for like small builds we can do in Zera Zera, um, I want to do a lot of those next time, so please leave your comments in the, in the uh, comment section below, and if it's a good idea, I might do it. So, thanks for watching everybody, this has been Cub Fan. goodbye.